As many of us know by now, the school board has voted for students to go back to all on-site learning. Today, I'm gonna to give you a few reasons why that is not in the best interest of the SHS students and faculty. First things first, we had a couple of polls going out to the students on social media and throughout college and AP government classes on how the SHS student body feels about our school and COVID-19. These are the results. When asked if students felt comfortable coming back full time, the results were split perfectly 50-50. When asked about social distancing, 62% of the students believe that social distancing does not occur throughout the high school. In reference to the hand washing stations and directional arrows, 75% of students say that nobody uses the hand washing stations and 58% of the students believe it is an inconvenience to follow the directional arrows. Although slight on some of the questions, it has been proven that the majority of students believe that the COVID precautions in place are not useful with only half of the student body. How do you expect that is going to change when we add 500 more students? However, we're not the only school in Kansas that thought about going back to on-site learning. Let's see how that turned out. Chapman High School recently went back to all remote learning after a rise in coronavirus cases throughout their student population. Derby High School had to quarantine the entire freshman football team along with half of the JV and varsity teams after two freshman players tested positive for COVID. These two players alone resulted in 94 other people that they were in close contact with to quarantine and get tested. In Abilene, the high school had gone completely remote for two weeks after four staff members tested positive. The superintendent spoke on this issue stating, we understand how important it is to have our students in school receiving a first rate educational experience, but COVID-19 has struck our teachers and support staff significantly. Examples of these outbreaks are happening all throughout high schools in Kansas, proving repeatedly that it is not safe for students to return yet. During a pandemic, nothing is normal, and we can't force a normal school environment, no matter how much we want to, because student and staff safety should always come first. By adding nearly 500 more students to the high school at one time, we're drastically increasing our chances of being one of the schools I previously listed.